Make you a believer by Sass Jordan. We should talk about bands that should have made it huge or artists that should have been huge in our eyes, mm. but for some reason just didn't get there. So, dudes like us out there listening, we uh, we took a break, as we normally do between the first and second episode, had some popcorn, picked out another bourbon, took some photographs. We had some cookies, too. We and did. We had some Christmas cookies. Yes. Oh, I didn't well. Homemade. Sean, Sean ate the cake. Did. I'm fat. So. And I'm not done with that. Wait. Uh, <laughs> wait what did you say with the... Uh, was that tone low? You ain't fat. Because I'm fat. You ain't fat. ain't down with that. Bonnet. Dang. No, I was thinking. Oh, that was DJ. Yeah. I was thinking. You ain't fat. You ain't fat. Remember, wheeled out Yankovic. I don't remember that song. Oh, why are you looking at me like I'm retarded? I'm trying to think of the song. It's yeah, called "I'm Fat," right? Uh, it's oh. Weird Al Yankovic. You ain't I'm fat. fat instead of uh, Mr. Producer. So. Well, you're gonna have to. Yeah, you're gonna have to bring it up. He li- He loves Weird Al Yankovic. Yeah. Our producer loves Weird Al Yankovic. I'm fat. I'm oh, this fat. is I'm fat. You I'm know fat. it. I'm really, really fat. That's the Michael Jackson uh, thing. Yeah. Yeah. And he I'm goes, bad. He, and he's like, "You ain't fat. I haven't seen you at. I haven't seen you at Burger World lately." Right. Well, dudes like us, it's December 12th. Uh, I'm Sean. I'm Paul. And I'm Jeff. And this is Weird Al Yankovic. <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> oh, boy. Where you been, man? We've been looking for you. He's got yeah. a huge... We ain't seen you around Burger World lately. So where <laughs> Burger you been, World? Huh? Oh, you yeah, know. You died in the middle of Around. It. Want a piece of pizza? Think I got extra piece around here somewhere. I no, that's okay, out of his thanks. Pocket. Yo, ding dong, man. Ding dong. Ding dong, yo. No, thanks, really. Yo, eat this, awesome. man. It's good for you. I'm not really very hungry right now. Hey, man, what it is with you? You on some kind of diet? Is that what they teach you in that little sissy school of yours? Back off me, man. Back off. The question <laughs> is, are you fat or what? Leave me alone. I said, are you fat? All right, well, we're Get jumping in me, this right away, aren't we? <laughs> you ain't down with us no more. You ain't fat. You ain't fat. You ain't fat. You ain't nothing. You ain't nothing! <laughs> oh, really? I, I just pulled a Clinton. Uh, what's his name? Clinton? <laughs> I just pulled no, a Biden. Pulled Clinton. Biden. You pulled a Biden? Uh, you know what? Whatever, man. You know what? Fuck Biden. Yeah, let's not talk about that. Uh, let's dudes talk like about us. Uh, what, about- a, what a great day. And, um, you know, uh, I was feeling uh, a little. Did you just bump your little sword? Yes, I just yeah. cranked my uh, my wound. Oh, how'd you do that? I went to itch right here, and I kind of went a little low. Uh, hit my it, knuckle on it. It, it went hurt? just outside. Yeah, so, so Jeff, those people that haven't known, <laughs> uh, he had some arm herpes re- removed yes. from uh, the dermatologist. Said, hey, man, this and could he- uh, turn into some. Luxurious arm herpes. And you now he has Franken arm. Yeah, he's got Franken arm. Franken scar. He basically has Franken this. Franken suture. Uh, he has this vagina that's been all sutured up on his. Yeah, arm. remember you guys were giving me shit about my my armpit vagina. Oh, that it, does not look like a, a vagina. Uh, yeah. And, and plus, he, yours was like bruised. Oh, it had like what? it was it was yes. seeping. There yours was, some was seepage like going on. I took a photo of it. It is now your 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 phone. It has oh. like lips. So whenever I put, whenever you call, that your picture shows up of your it arm. Had lips. <laughs> wow, well, this is crazy. Really? So we are sober, believe it or not, and we are starting the second half of the podcast. It's it's Christmas time, essentially. I mean, we're like you know two less than two weeks out, is it, or is it? It. it is yeah, I just posted uh, the 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 bourbons we're drinking tonight on Instagram, and I used a Christmas oh. song. Oh, very little, ah. little little Andy Williams. Well, look us up. We're on Instagram. Uh, ah. We are. We have a Facebook page. Um, it's the most wonderful time of the year. It's, it's the, the most, most wonderful, wonderful time, time in Paul's year. year. Yes. <laughs> okay. So, okay. <laughs> <laughs> my voice is totally shot right now. Yes. <laughs> anyway, right. have you guys done all your Christmas shopping? Negative. I haven't done anything. Well, you know, first of all, my wife does all the shopping. All right. even, I already know what I'm getting the kids. for your gift for her? Uh, no, no, that's separate. I gotta go. Get well, you that. don't want to say anything because one of your children is in the room. Uh, that's all right. I'm not gonna tell them what it is, but they're okay. all getting the same thing. Is it a gift card? It's a dick in a box. No, 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 no. No, it's not a gift card. It's a ten dollar Whataburger gift card. It's, no, a, it's not a gift fuck card. Fuck it, I'm not doing it. No, yeah. fuck it. I hate Christmas. Look, I hate. <laughs> yeah, I said that in that. Well, you know what? Here's the thing. And um, then, I, the, and then the next podcast, you're like, "Oh my God, I love Christmas." Oh uh, well, I do love Christmas. I really enjoy it. It's really happening faster and faster every single year. But now it this goes year, by I, so fast. I know what every single one of my kids wants. Really? Uh, 
what I'm getting them, they're going to, they may, ha- you know what, I'm not going to talk about Are it. Are they going to be pro- profoundly disappointed? No, uh, the, they, whatever. It doesn't matter. They're going to use it, and they're going to enjoy using it. Is it, is it Is soap? it a dildo? Oh, I was thinking soap. I have, oh. I have two daughters. You, well, you well, you have two sons, too, so. Yeah, that's even worse. So. <laughs> well, hold on. It's a, it, so hold on. Walk me hold through on. this dildo it is a gift. Uni, it's a unisex tool. It's this a unisex it tool. Be. It can it be used be. by anybody, even old people. Well, the way he was describing it, maybe they're gonna no, they're gonna uh, like it. They're gonna well, enjoy mind, pleasure. You know what? That little extra shot during the halftime kind of did you in, man. <laughs> May yeah. have it did it did jumpstart things. Yeah. Whatever. You know what? Yeah, I'm. I'm uh, Although you were talking about masturbation in the first half, so I don't. Yeah, I'm a little off off know. tonight. Oh, yeah, interesting. Are you on some certain meds with mm. your arm? Maybe it's the antibiotic. <laughs> it's, the, it's the ointment. It's the ointment. It's the ointment that you put. Are on you really on antibiotics right now? Yes. Because the antibiotics aren't supposed to work when you be drinking alcohol. It's just a salve, antibiotic salve. <laughs> You're like, hey, shit, me, shit, me, shit, me, shit, me, <laughs> <laughs> no, officer, I haven't been drinking. <laughs> no. Well, I'm not going to worry right. about that because right. I'm driving. I'm going to be driving my my battery powered tricycle. Let's gather ourselves. Gather ourselves. Uh, Let's talk about Christmas. Where are you going to be in Christmas? Right here. I'm not going anywhere. I'm hmm. going to be in Bryan College Station. Uh, with my oh, that'll be nice. When's the last time you spent family. Christmas with uh, your parents? It's been a long time. And we're going to sneak off to Houston and see Shelly's father. That's Why does he thing. come up and spend it with the entire family? Or do uh, your parents yeah. and him not get along? Uh, well, no, no. It's nothing like that. I think it's it's kind of one of those things where you spend time with one and spend time with the other. But, you know, I didn't. I honestly didn't think about it. But I guarantee he, he would kindly decline. He wouldn't want to encroach. Yeah, he. Yeah, he. I don't know, man. I think it's weird. He would not want to do that. I I would. I don't get it. I mean, I. uh, I kind of have the same. I don't want to say it's an issue because it's not an issue, but maybe dilemma or. uh, You want to keep the family separate or something? I wouldn't. I mean, frankly, I would. I would. I would like for it to be a gathering where everyone shows. Oh yeah, both sides of the fence. You know, I. I agree with that. And it's it's a little frustrating because I mean, with me, um, you know. My parents get the short end of the stick, you know. I believe so. They get the leftovers. Yeah, the leftover shams. It, it, and, and look, you know, every, every, people have their different lifestyles. My, I mean, my wife's parents aren't um, retired. My parents are retired, and you know, they they live a lifestyle of retired where they don't give a fuck about anything. And uh, you know, the other side of the fence is kind of regimented. And they've got they've got schedules and stuff and. Busy. Uh, Busy people. Well, they usually have larger functions, and my parents like to try to keep a kind of collective. Yeah, they're calm. they're they're they're. I don't want to say polar opposites, but they're they're different. I yeah, mean, yeah, they're 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 they, not for, cut from the same cloth. Yeah, they're they're just they like to be they they like to be within their 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 comfort zone, especially my mom, and and that's good because there are people out there that do they feel comfortable just simply. Mm-hmm. But what about your your dad, Jeff? Is he going to be blessing you with his presence? No, he probably won't travel ever again. He, uh, we've been trying to get him out here. Unless he moves, right? Then he, then we'll have to travel. But uh, we're trying to get him out here for Brandon's graduation, Stephen's upcoming college graduation. Uh, he, He's not he, gonna travel anymore. Planes. He has no. It's not easy to travel. No, and especially Why? at eighty-one, he'll be eighty-two. Uh, it, it gets hard. It, everything becomes a hassle. Well, how? how? Everything hurts. He doesn't have a very good balance. He doesn't want to deal with the pressure changes, well, the want headache to of TSA. Yeah, and the lines of security. Yeah, exactly. Right. Mm-hmm. He doesn't I mean, want to stand just... there for an hour trying to get through security with his cane and yeah, you know, hardly able to stand up. It's worry. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's, it's stressful. I can, see that. I can see some of that. Yeah. I mean, uh, I mean, the only reason I bring that up is I think that my, my dad and your dad are about the same age. You know, and my dad experienced everything you just said. Uh, when we went out to the right. Maine in the Northeast, uh, you know he he muscled through it though. But now, can my dad do it? Yeah, he just uh, doesn't want to. Yeah, that's so sucks. he's he he's going to be alone during Christmas. Uh, he has been for many years. Mm, totally my mother passed sure. away in two thousand seven. That was the last Christmas. He had someone with him. Yeah, mm. actually, two thousand six because she passed away in October of two thousand seven. Maybe you ought to surprise him. Uh, I almost had to go out there, uh, what I thought was going to be this week, but it's probably going to be the beginning of the year. Uh, I'll be seeing them, and then we're planning on going out there again over spring break. So Yeah, that's good. 
Yeah, you we, know, we, I mean, that's part of the thing. We we were going to be in Cold Station, and we were like, I mean, we're an hour away from Shelley's father. We have to. He can't be alone on Christmas Day, right? Is he going to be alone? Especially when he's we're right there. Uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, he, you know, the the rest of the 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 family there just uh, do their own thing. You know, so. I take that back. A couple Jeez. years, about three years ago, he came out. The COVID thing threw travel out, out the window because oh, yeah. we were planning on having all my sister's family and my dad was going to come out uh, for Christmas that year. And all of a sudden, COVID hit, everything shut down right there at the end of 2019, if you remember when everything kind of oh, went to yeah. shit, right? That's when the panic really was. Right. Like That's when it was the worst. Steven got it really bad. Right. So it's a good thing no one showed up. Um, and uh, and then it was two years later, a year later, He's he had a plane ticket. He canceled his flight. My dad canceled his flight, so he had a flight. He's like, I'll come out in December. I don't, it wasn't necessarily for Christmas, though. Right. Uh, but he came out like the next Christmas or two Christmases in 22 or 21 or whatever it was. Good. Uh, so, again, it was, was it Christmas time, but it was in December ish. So, something. But TSA yeah. has a special program set up for folks. That was the last time he's five. been out. Really? What'd you say? Uh, TSA has a special program set up for folks that are older than 75. Yeah, they have wheelchairs that will let you bypass a lot of shit. Oh, yeah. You just you hop on the wheel. Well, you got to sign up for it. And once you get signed up for it, you literally arrive, they put you on a wheelchair, they curry your shit away, and you literally right you, up to the gate. Yep, you bypass. No, you don't bypass. You pretty much go to the front of the line yeah. oh, of yeah. security. And you have to get no, up. No, you have no. to walk across. And... No, they uh, – so, <laughs> so but my, my recollection is that they uh, – yeah, you got to go through security. But there's a different uh, security. It's, it's, a, it's a different security. Uh, but when you, once you get past security, you get to the gate, you are in a separate line. and um, you, you board actually, first, essentially. Yes, you do board first. So they have like 1 through 30, then they got 30 through Well, he flies 60. first class now. He's yeah. like, I'll never fly anything but first class. Uh, well, you know, you get a certain point you need to do. Love but, it. Uh, yeah. But he doesn't have to, though. That's my point. You know, he basically is the first one on the plane, but, you know, I guess he's going to be flying those airlines that have first class. Uh, hey. He wants the room, the space. The comfort at this point in his life. He has Should I want that can this time it. in my life? Yeah, he yeah. could afford it. And, and he's earned it. Oh, my yeah, God. And he's earned it's, it. It's such a train wreck when you when you show up and you, look, we're big guys. I mean, Paul, you're getting there. But, I mean, it's saying. You're, <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting there? Uh, dude, look, we're all getting older. What the hell? Uh, d- d- take it. You know, you are what you are. I'm just saying. I mean, you just told us today your blood pressure is high. So you are jumping on the train somewhat. Yeah. You know, mm-hmm. But my point is, is that guys like, well, okay, let's just say Jeff and I, for example, when we go sit in a plane, Jesus, man. We if, spill. Yeah. It's like we're, we're over the other side. Are you guys it's having like, to pay for two seats when no. you no, 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 it's no not but like it, it's, and a seatbelt extender. No, we're, but we're not baby boo boo. I mean, we're just like you know. But broad, <laughs> but broad shoulders. No, I fit the chair just fine. But at the broad shoulders, you know, my shoulders go over to the next seat. So I, the, ex- I actually, so the little like twenty-two-year-old girl that sits next to you is like all like yes. encroached. Oh yeah, because yes. your arm you're, you're, and your shoulder. Like, oh yeah, we're all sausaging. Neck. We're that's, sausaging in our clothes and just kind of right. like spilling over. She's on like, her side. oh my god, I'm between these. That's oh my god, god. Uh, and they smell. Oh, that's why I always so get an aisle seat. I always have to have an aisle seat because I, I I'm able to lean that way to right. give them, so I'm not encroaching and on then the person the next to me. Smacks your shoulder. Yeah. Well, sure, so, yeah, that does sometimes. Look, you, yeah. you gotta you gotta strategize when you're flying, and a lot of this takes experience uh, of knowing what plane you're getting on and what seat to get. Some planes it's the first come first serve. Uh, yeah, that that's sucks. Southwest. Yeah, and so I, I like that. Yeah. I like the Southwest style. Yeah. Well, I mean, it can be good, and but there there are other styles where you can actually select your seat. Like Southwest, for example, if you get on Southwest, uh, my recommendation for folks like us is they've got a seat by the wind uh, by the uh, the exit, the emergency exit, and where there's because they're set up in rows of three seats, and this one in particular only has yeah, a row of two, and you sit but you sit there. So I gravitate yeah, to that, and you, I spend the extra twenty bucks, thirty bucks, fifty bucks to get in that first. Oh, to do. Uh, uh, a list, um, not a list. Yeah, you the can pay more pass. to be the board first. Early bird, early well, yeah. bird. Well, uh, well, they've changed check-in. it recently, and they have different. Yeah, they're different tiers that uh, allow oh, really? you. Yeah, that allow you to get on first. Yeah, uh-huh. yeah. You know, it's it's interesting. They they had some sort of seminar, and I basically recall uh, a new style of seating. It hasn't come out yet, but they're entertaining it. And this what is it kind of is? Where you're basically standing. 
No, they have like the seats all seat. normal, but what, what they have is they have a second tier, second and upper. I've seen that. So that's never gonna. That's not gonna happen. No, an upper. What? I would never what, fly what, on that. What, what is this? Well, they they make the plane a little larger, and they take the seat that's in front of it and they raise it like four feet. So basically, you're almost underneath it. Yeah, you're and your you're face underneath is like it. Right by their ass. Oh yeah, you're. Oh nice. Oh yeah, because I would yeah. be oh, ripping hot. total ass in front of everybody. So yes. it's like an erotic plane. Oh, wouldn't think of it like that if they're sitting behind me. But yeah. oh, it'd be kind of well, like fluoride like in your that. water. Oh, they program. have a picture of it. What the? Yeah, what, look at that. What is that? Fuck that. I don't know. I no, mean, fuck that. Look I, how close that is. If you're back there. I mean, yeah, but look at the ass. leg space. I mean, yeah, but hold I don't on. Know. That's why they're doing it. You you can actually put your feet up, and and, and your knees are not. I don't care. Uh, it looks weird, but it actually may be more comfortable. No, no. I would so not want someone's ass so, six inches from my face. But, but think <laughs> about think about the I'm math. Sorry. Yeah, I agree with Jeff. But think about the math on what does it exactly do. You know, as far as the the money, because you know they don't do shit unless it's going to make money. It's so weird. what is it going to do? What what is it going to allow an extra row? Yes, more people so, can fit on right, an airplane. So if you add an extra row, then you're talking about six seats, right? So six, let's just say twelve, two two rows. Um, is it worth it to oh, to man, make that extra twelve thousand dollars to have know. somebody eat ass the whole trip? Eat, no, because I wouldn't ass. fly on a plane like that. They also have these where you're on bicycle seats. Is that where you're trying to promote the battery power? Where you're, 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 you're almost get standing. the propellers going? Oh no, no, no! That's yeah. awful. Yeah, I, I, I've seen those. Oh yeah. Like, so like, click on that website because there was a there was a contest where people were submitting designs, and uh, some of them were just they were they were sitting a little ridiculous. too close. It's like you can get pregnant sitting there. Uh, I think some of them were like bicycle seats. <laughs> And you're almost standing. Yeah, it's like tandem. You know, I'm just like no, like yeah, that yeah, yellow, those yellow right ones there right there. Is like that. That is like a, a, a uh, sex. So, anyways, <laughs> look at those <laughs> yellow ones. Look at that. I mean, look at that. What the fuck? That? Most people, most dudes like us, don't know what that is. That that's like a Six Flags fucking ride. That's like you're stacked on top of each other. That's awful. No, well, you're processed so like the Matrix. Imagine flying uh, ten hours over to London on that. Yeah, forget that. All right, so uh, long story short, um, yeah, first class for your dad, and I, 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 I'm on board with that. Oh, you know? 100%. I, I mean, I wouldn't be able to afford that, but if you could, absolutely. And if it, how much does it cost? And it really, we're at a point in our lives, even us, well, we're at a point in our lives well, put where it, well, I wouldn't mind dropping an extra hundred bucks. No, no, it's like an extra thousand, thousand plus yeah. for first class. Really? Generally, easy. Generally, easy. Yeah. For instance, does that uh, come with like what does that come? It with? comes with. Lunch, dinner, and drinks. All you can drink. No, no, no hand job. No hand. No job. hand job. Usually get a nice warm towel, wet oh, towel. Oh, towel yeah, that you could you use on your face? yourself. Yes, to wipe your hands and or everything on your, on your junk. Yes, or do you yeah. get free booze? Yes, you free, booze. Get free booze. Free you have booze. a buffet. That's a very important. It's not a buffet. But I can drink a thousand dollars worth of booze. It's usually and they have like a thousand different bourbons, don't they? No, they do not. Oh no. yeah. They do uh, have. They do they have a couple. Have I don't. They have one. It's, yeah. No. Well, like, they've got a couple. Because uh, the last flight I was on, I oh, I asked what kind of bourbon they have, and I was being kind of snooty and snobby, and he was like, Jim uh, Beam uh, and Jack no, Daniels. No, no, there was actually I don't recall what well, it was, we've got but Bladtons it was Bladtons, and we've got some Barrel Proof Elijah Craig's. <laughs> <laughs> really? I don't think he I'm said like, that. That is, but amazing. he did. He, I, well, because I, I was like, yeah, he's like, yeah, but I, w- I want two. Can I get two at once? And he was like, absolutely. So he goes back and he doesn't bring me the, but he just brings me back a full fucking glass with one ice cube in there. Nice. I was on, I was in heaven. You know, it was like an well, hour. Usually hour they and bring, half flight, they bring flight. you the little bottles. No. Well, well this one he brought you. back. It was full. When already. I was when I was traveling to to Albuquerque and back, like every three weeks. And I had like tickets. I would give them two tickets. They'd bring me two of the bottles and a can of Coke. And I could make it exactly how I wanted it. It was perfect. I just wanted booze. So just bring me the bourbon, maybe an ice cube. The only time I've had booze is when I've been in first class. I've never had the desire to drink on the plane outside of when I was in first class. Uh, I and, did. And it's too bad that, you know, they fucked it all up. Actually, you know, you could what, how, buy. How? What do you mean? Uh, well, the terrorist. 
Oh. <laughs> yeah, you got to give us some context. Yeah. I'm sorry they about that. fucked yeah. it up. They stopped serving booze. <laughs> yeah. Well, not just that, but you used to be able to bring you bring out whatever you want, you know? And now it's just like, fuck. You can bring you, shit on. You couldn't bring. No. No. You, you still could bring out knives and guns. Well, no, no, well, no, no what I meant for as far as drink wise. Yeah, right, because you, the 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 the, the, out, the liquor, uh, no, the liquid thing. Yeah, they they. I mean, now you could you. They probably still frowned upon you bringing stuff on there, but it wasn't like legit. You know, if they see you like whipping out a bottle of. I mean, was that bourbon. a thing? Could we have bring the little minis on the so. plane? You, no, but you used know. to be able to bring. I think bottles of wine. Like if you went to Napa before all this happened, you could get the carriers and stick them. Yeah, up. you couldn't drink it. No, you couldn't drink you, it. You could bring it back with you. you. Used to be able to do that. For some reason, I thought that you could take minis on the plane, and they. You I could, don't know. I don't know. I've never tried. How cool! Would you could that probably be? sneak them on, but keister it. No, you can't. Not to get back security. Well, they're under the three. Uh, um. Yeah, I guess so. Well, that's true. You couldn't have them in your pocket, so you'd have to be in your luggage somewhere, and hopefully, they didn't find them. Then you stick in your, in your pocket. You it's it's on. extremely difficult. Yeah. You can wear like a bandolier no. of, of minis. No, that's not going to work either. Because now yeah. they have this 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 incredible system. You have to stand uh, in this solid little chamber, up. and you put your feet in these little spots, and this little thing whisks around you at 360 degrees. When I've got that sir, thing that comes sir, out the floor. Sir, you have cancer. <laughs> I had a girlfriend like that. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Well, I just got TSA pre-checks. I don't have to do any of that <laughs> shit anymore. I I signed up for that, and then you have to go somewhere. I'm you have strategizing how to put you contraband have an, on. You have an appointment. It took five minutes. I know. And <laughs> I every single time I tried to schedule it, something happened, and I, I missed my appointment. And go I do it. I didn't reschedule it. I uh, hold on. I missed what you said. What did you say? To, to get TSA, you have to oh, sign yeah, yeah. up to do an appointment for them to check to see who you really are. It took do less than a, 10 days I, to get it done. I do you have a CHL? I know. I do, just, do you have your carry, a, a, a concealed handgun license? I do not. That will expedite the process. By the way, I got my new one. It took less than 10 days. So it's not going to expedite any faster than that. Right. Um, it, well, uh, well it, that's not a matter of speed. It's it's more about uh, it's about more simplicity than, than speed, I guess. I don't think so because you still have to fill out the form. You have to provide documents. Um, actually, you give them your number to the you, CHL, and they've already done a, a complete scan and a profile on you. You still have to go on to the TSA.gov website and fill out their paperwork. All right. Yeah. How about that? So, I mean, I mean you well, just can't go that, up to the checkpoint and go, no, I have this. No, because you have yeah. your TSA card. I'm a concealed handgun uh, person, what, so uh, what let I'm me on the plane. What I'm saying is that when you – because that's a, that's a rigorous uh, thing to get the license. You know, actually, it used to be. I don't know if it still is. Yeah. What I have is rigorous. You know, because it took like a couple of months to be able to get it. They had to fingerprint you, and you know, you had to go and uh, there was a big process. You know, yeah, I had to be fingerprinted. Red tape. I had to be fingerprinted. Um, did you see the new gun For laws? TSA, you had to be fingerprinted. Yes. Oh, interesting. Yep. Okay, gun laws. Yeah, go. The new gun laws that Biden's trying to pass. ATF. His ATF. Oh, I'm sorry, yeah, the ATF under the Biden and, regime. And I read that it's going to make millions of people in a criminal state. Like, if I was to sell you a gun, I have to be federally licensed gun seller. Get the fuck out of here. Come Anybody on. who is going to sell or give gun for something in return has to be federally registered as a... Did they pass uh, it? What is a gift? As a s- seller. Right. What if we, you give it to you're not free? Get, you're not getting anything in return. No, you have, you have to sell it. Yeah, but people sell guns all the time. All the time. Yeah. Right? That's bullshit. That's how I got my shotgun. Yeah, so that could be That's something greatly reduced here about. in the future with that happening. They're trying to close that loophole of how evil people get well, their guns. Look, it's 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 all look they're they're putting these little things in in, in place. Yes. And you know, part of it is like they're you know, leading they're, they're trying to make it so that you can't you don't have the ability to buy cash. So what you know, what, you going to buy for cash from one of your oh, buddies? They're, they're eroding it, it's a slippery slope. They're eroding they they basically want to take away all the guns. And so they're they're work they're tiptoeing their way towards that. Then they're going to move to am to ammunition, and then they're going to move to uh, oh now they're calling uh, things that are called assault weapons. Oh, well, you didn't even say that part. There's yeah. an ATF rule coming out that they're calling uh, assault weapons are like 
a ridiculous number of guns. Are, yeah, but they have to define what an assault weapon is. That is the the magical thing. What is an assault weapon? Exactly. Semi-automatic. That's not an assault weapon. That's, <laughs> that's a well. That's what a, that's what an that's AR is. It's just a semi-automatic. Is yep. all it is. It's a yep. simple wild so west gun. Pistol. That's what I mean. I semi-automatic. It's crazy. Just a like old western Colt is it, forty-five. Is you know? it a long barrel semi-automatic? These guys are. I don't know. Yeah, look even on Does Google. Some, Google I, has I, put it up there, and they're like, "Oh, the assault weapon is this." You know what? Fuck you. You can have an assault fucking blade. You can have an assault uh, muchete. That's what they do in China. They have the people that, that you know, go into yeah, schools these, uh, and stab all the children. You, you in Ireland, uh, you, had, you had some uh, yep. Muslims that went all shit and stabbed a bunch of kids. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And they, yeah. the fucking Irish people were all up in arms, you know, you know and f- good for them. Yep. Fuck that. Yeah. Fuck it. You know what? Pull those dudes out and, and, and massacre them. Fuck them. <laughs> I don't care. Dude, fuck them. Uh, I get it. Seriously. I mean, come on. I mean, uh, I'll say it. I hear you. Well, it's just bullshit. You win all Elon Musk. Uh, <laughs> Fuck you. Yeah. Well, you know what? Good for Elon Musk. I can't Musk, be any you know? more clearer than that. <laughs> yeah. Oh, thanks, Bob. Awesome. Yeah, that Bob. was so awesome. Yeah, and, and good for him. But it, but still, it's just like, you know, I'm so sick of being pushed around by these piece of shit cocksuckers. You know, I just, you know, I, hate, I don't even want to get into this. Let's look at, let's look at a list. We don't have a list. <laughs> yeah, we, don't, we, we don't have a list today. Yeah. Yeah. I, I got a list. We, we, uh, we didn't uh, green room it very long, but that's so okay. Be, we before did, we, we talking, talking about, about something else. Before we were talking about uh, the well, going on the airplanes and riding and, and the elderly uh, driving, but we've got some other stuff going on. We have uh, we've well. Before we issues. move on, before we move on from the planes, the very first flight that I went on, I was in seventh grade, so I was eighty, seventy nine or eighty, okay, ish. How old are you in seventh grade? You 12, 11? Tr- you're 13. No, 12, 12. 12. So that was 12, 81. 13. 81. Okay. And we flew to my dad had a work, uh, something out in Los Angeles. Okay. So me, my mom, and sister. From Cincinnati. Were you from scared? Cincinnati. No, not at all. No, I wasn't. For, no, I, no, I wasn't. You were more excited than anything I was. Else. I was very excited. First plane trip. It was a big, big deal. They treated you well, as a kid. You know, I got the little wings, pin. the pin, the wings. Did wing. you get a deck of cards? Uh, I may have. and uh, But uh, I remember going, we had to dress nice. Yeah. We had to dress nice. When you traveled, you dressed up. Correct. Absolutely. And uh, we, we boarded the plane, and people could still smoke. Yeah, please. People could still smoke on the planes back then. Yeah. I remember that. But they served... A meal. Paul, you want a beer? I've got mine. To everybody, like a full meal. Oh yeah. And I remember. You said everyone, like, well, like you had to say that. Is that a clarifier? I meant first class versus coach. Oh. Whereas today, only first class gets food. So I remember. I, I don't remember. I mean, you could have been racist back then. And uh, and I remember I getting a steak dinner, and it had a, a steak dinner. It was a steak dinner. Sitting there with this was a like three a hour flight raised. with a steak knife. A three hour flight? Well, it was four hours from Cincinnati to, to LA. And you got a movie Good too? Good Lord. And yeah, they had a screen come down and a movie. And uh, they had a metal fork, a metal steak knife, because you had to cut your steak. Yeah. Hi, Mr. Jeff. Can I and, get uh, And a stewed tomato. And I remember looking at that thing going, I didn't eat it because I don't like, like tomatoes. But I remember that distinctly to this day, and I was, what, 12? They That's crazy. have what an experience. Of that now. Yeah. None of uh, that. Yeah. And then one of my first uh, remembrance of getting on a plane was traveling from New Jersey in the early 70s and traveling over to Germany for an extended time. That was a long flight. And that was a lot of fun. It's kind of scary. Did you run up and down the aisles? No, did not. Did you what? Run, run up and down the uh, aisles? No, that didn't happen at all. No, my dad would have. See, that's just back then. You know. You did what you were told. I mean, oh yeah, you couldn't get away sit with shit like quiet. that. Sit there and be quiet. It's like, all right, I'm gonna sit there and be quiet. Because if I did sit there and be quiet, there'd be consequences completely different nowadays. And all you had were like coloring books or like word search. I don't even remember having that. Yeah, uh, we, it, we live in a different world. Now. They were just like, shut the fuck up and sit there. They had like a movie that played, just like you said. There was like a little screen that came down, but it was a double decker. It was a big boy. It was a dub, big oh, yeah. ass uh, freaking plane. Right. I mean, it was. They showed that they had several. 
Uh, yeah, the 747 exactly had the big, was, big bubble on top. Uh-huh. Yeah, that was a big I boy. went on so many airplanes. Right? That's the kind fun, they like though. to hijack in the movies. It yes. was. Uh, I do remember the whole transition, though. It was really weird because here I am in the United States, and uh, we head over to Germany, and 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 then all of a sudden, we're, I'm experiencing a time differential. So, because you know, now we're like eight hours apart, ten hours apart. Whatever, yeah, whatever yeah, the yeah, yeah. Right. So now I'm like wide the fuck awake, you know, because. Uh, we show up and uh, by, we're on a military base, so we go straight to our quarters and there's a bed set up, you know. And I've got I've got everything, I've got mattress and and sheets and everything. And and I remember my dad was like, "Oh, it's time for bed," and I was like, "I am wide the fuck awake." Right. I remember laying there in Mannheim, Germany, uh, on my bed, and my brother and I shared the same room, so we had like a little twin beds in there. And I just remember sitting on there, and I was just like, "This is the craziest shit ever," and I had a lot of anxiety. Because I didn't understand that we were across the planet, and that the we there was big difference in time. Right. That it was and different. I was like, "Why am I awake?" So my body thinks it's two o'clock in the afternoon. It's actually ten o'clock at yeah. night where I'm at. Yeah, it was very difficult, and frankly, uh, it kind of traumatized me a little bit. You know, just the, the whole thing. Explains things. Yeah. You know. <laughs> time change. I got him. Oh. <laughs> it was traumatizing. I mean, it really was. Going to a different place like that and living, God, man, it was weird. I mean, as a kid, it was. You know, people go you go over there and they, you're on the base, so you weren't exposed to it too much. But speaking a different language, yeah. different yeah. culture. Yeah, it was It was German. So, Brochen. You know, uh, it, you know in Cracking retrospect, writing. it was... Uh, yes. Cracking, wagon. <laughs> in retrospect, it was, it, was, it was a great experience. And I'm glad I did it, really, because we, uh, as uh, we're growing up, um, you know, we, we got to see a lot of things that normal folks didn't see. You know, we, we got uh, we traveled all over Europe. We did all kinds Nazis. of cool things. Yeah, man, there's uh, we've we we <laughs> I, I got to see a lot, a lot of cool shit. And my dad was uh, part of his job was training the uh, German military men on uh, in what on, in his trade and um, you know signal battalion. So uh, it was basically uh, satellites and. Uh, Cryptologic security command code kind of stuff. That big old spherical dome that looks like a, a golf ball. That uh, like the Morse code. Um, no, it was a little bit more. Uh, <laughs> whatever, it doesn't matter. He was training them, <laughs> and uh, but it was kind of cool because they had like family day several times a year uh, over on the German base, and they would bring. I mean, it was it was just cool because I got to meet all the German kids. We we communicated like through just. Did yeah. everyone wear Lederhosen? Yeah, they they kind of they did wear Lederhosen. Yeah, Hosen. Yeah, Hosen. <laughs> did you it, eat it lots was, of sausages and brats? man? They, I tell you what, man. They had we went to uh, we, I went to an elementary school and they had um, some sort of thing where they had uh, where the German school sent their kids over to the American school, uh, the the military school, the in the dependent school, and um, the, they had a lunch. We all had our lunches, and so I had like peanut butter jelly. I don't know what the fuck it was, and he had like. Brochen and salamis and cheeses, and I was like, "Fuck, this is I want." And liverwurst, right? Liverwurst is the best fucking thing on the planet. And when you find out what's actually in it, you're like, "Ooh, that's very suspect." I, I have doing never that. tried that. Oh, it's a uh, spreadable organ meat. It, I'm good. Never it, mind. It. <laughs> I, I know its organs or not, but it, it's liver. I believe. I. It does not say organ meat, but I mean, it's it. It is really good. I enjoy. Uh, I enjoy it. And, and you got to buy the, the, the special... It's uh, purified beef liver. It's like a pate. Yeah, it really is, man. It, it's basically shit that's left over. They just kind of grind it, fucking throw some salt in it, let them fucking go for it. But it, you know, it shows up in these big tubes. But anyways, he had he had that lunch. It was it was a great experience. I remember he was looking at me. He was like, he had to go piss. I was like, I didn't understand what the fuck is. Voice on toilette. I was like, I don't know what the fuck he's talking about. And then uh, he, he kind of made a little gesture towards his dick. He was like... Psh- I was like, oh, oh you want to go rub one off. Oh, no, that, that wasn't part of the curriculum back oh. then. So it says oh, uh, liverwurst, you missed, you missed labia worst, or liver sausage <laughs> is a kind of sausage made from liver. There you go. That's why they call it liver fucking worst. Wow, that's really. Kind of looks like a baloney. Nice. In this picture, anyway. Well, so the liverwurst comes in a, a, it looks like a big summer sausage thing. That shows up and they because they wrap it sure. and uh, you just slice it. Man, look, uh, if I were to give you liverwurst and you didn't know what it was and you say, hey, Sean, make me a sandwich. 
It's good. You would Is that canned meat knife. Yeah, there's liverwurst right uh, there. You would fucking love it. You would absolutely love it. You'd be like, "What is this? Wait, it looks I want like more of this." Salami. It's a bologna. It's it's like, it's like bologna ish, but it's spreadable. But it's made from liver. It says yeah. liverwurst usually contains pigs or calves liver. Other ingredients are meat, notably veal, fat, and spices. Mm. It's mm. delicioso. Sounds it is good. Actually, it, doesn't sound, it doesn't sound bad. And the it is good. Let's do that on canned meat night. No, we need to have another canned, canned meat, meat night. night. Yeah, that's not we happening need to anymore. have another canned meat night? What's yes. wrong with you? <laughs> Wasn't that a disaster? Your blood pressure is not high enough. <laughs> yeah. Shit. Yeah, that canned meat night. So dudes no like us, uh, listeners out there, we we ventured into, I, I don't know how the topic came up, but we're kind of like, hey, let's we do it. We did it. We Th- really did it. This was before we had the podcast, right? Or no, no, this was at the very, very beginning. Oh, so we decided just like arbitrarily, we're just like, hey, let's do like, let's just have dinner. Yeah, because we talked about spam. So we went to we the store about, and we bought uh, like canned clams, spam, oysters, oysters. Did Fuck we, it. we did spam, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah, we had spam. Everything that had that meat that and, we could and what find. And those little sausages? Vienna sausage. Yeah. Yes. Oh, so those Vienna gross. sausages are pretty cl- close to the liverwurst. Liverwurst, yeah. a little bit as far as the texture goes. Oh, yeah, it just falls apart. Wow. It has that skin on the outside. Yeah. Well, kind of actually, that's not true. The liverwurst doesn't have skin. <laughs> the it, Vienna sausage does. Oh yes, 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 it does. It's got a, a little sheath. Uh, yeah, squ- sheath. Squirrel intestinal sheath. I tell you what, I think the 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 two worst things were the oysters and the beef sheets. I don't even know what they call it. The dehydrated beef. Uh, those were so gross. That was. <laughs> It was so much. It was like a salt sheet. It was unbelievably <laughs> salty. It was so bad. And, and you know what? I, I think at that point we had had like a number of things. Yes. And, and that was the ender. Right. And it was an ender. I think we all just kind of go, all right, we're just eating spam. Yeah. yeah. There was a couple of times I was like, and, and then the farts the next day, they were just <laughs> thermal nuclear. It, I mean, it, was... it, it smelled like burnt fucking plastic. And what's it was so funny is our wives were like, Oh my the amount God. of carcinogens they part, we took, partake we, we in any of this? Five years of they were like, "You guys are idiots." So they had a and parallel like, dinner. <laughs> <laughs> they had a parallel dinner, didn't they? Something oh, else, one hundred percent. And we were making drinks and and eating all this shit. Yes. So what what is the next one though? We we talked about doing another dinner, but we weren't going to do all that. We're we, not we doing mentioned. a canned meat night. Uh, we, we talked about <laughs> something <laughs> similar though. We we're going to do a fish fry. Have different fishes. That would be cool. Some shrimps and some clams and some fish. And Come we'll on. have to do some uh, some venison smoked sausage. Uh, do you I'll, have any? Do you have any have moose have moose left? Moose, elk. I'm sorry, this book. Yeah, I do. Well, it's have not. Some, I do have some. Elk. Well, it's not going to be ven- Oh, yeah, it is. Hey, well, actually, can you smoked. buy elk? You can buy elk, right? Yes, you can buy elk steak. Huh, I might just go. We buy need it. to go down to that wild fork. Uh, like bring it home. Why? I've got elk steak. Well, you're not willing to share it. Yeah, I am willing to share. We what, should have hope, to plan a night. To we do have to it. be Jerry. No, I gave him the hamburger. Oh, I didn't give him the steaks. I've got mm. steaks. Right. Anyway, so I'll probably just end up going buy a couple elk steaks, <laughs> just the big ones. Wow, <laughs> you know, kind of sous vide them for a well, long let's time. Let's plan on elk <laughs> night because you have the deep fryers, right, for the fish. I do. Let's do fish. We'll buy a bunch of catfish. Um. Orange Ruffy or whatever. I don't know what else. I don't want tilapia. We're probably going to end up having to do this. I, I would recommend we do this for uh, probably the third week in January-ish. Some but crappies. You know what, hey, you know what? Speaking of the, the, the fryers, <laughs> there was a study put out oh on, boy. On, air, on air fryers. So do you guys know what um, yes. crystal skulls are? They're also fryers. Uh, acrylamide? Is acrylamide? Is that, am I saying that right? Probably Sounds not. Air- is that like a something that comes out of the plastic and metals? Yeah. So the air fryers, oh, it leaches so into your food. Yeah. So what? What? The, what? Well, there's a study out there, and they they did it in two places. They did it in Korea, and they did it in um in the, in Europe, and um. They so did, no Americans tested it. So we don't want to believe it. Well, actually, it's quite the opposite. Only American. We, we really want to work. I mean, in yeah. our our system, yeah. Non Americans are stupid. I know. Come yeah. on. But my, my point is, is that <laughs> they're saying that they they took like French fries. First of all, well, not to even talk about microwaves. And you know, microwaves are horrible. The hormonal they 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 do their job. They heat up the food, but they create toxins. 
you know, but set that aside. So if you just put the food in there, how does it create toxins? Is the air prior or no, the microwave? The microwave. Uh, it, it, it does something to the molecular uh, construct of, of the, whatever you're eating. And it creates a toxin. I don't know what it is. I didn't dig into it that deep. Actually, grilling your steak is actually very cancerous as well. Yes. So should we eat it raw? Well, they say the char is uh, is the carcinogenic. Yeah, that's, that's the word I was the looking The gristle for. is a carcinogenic? No, the, the char on it. So you do not want uh, any char on your hamburgers, your chicken, or it's your steak. It's carcinogenic. Yeah. So you can't use grills. So let anymore. me let me back up to the fryer, then we can we can put a pin in that one. But the uh, so the fryer uh, experiment they were saying is that they they were cooking French fries, all right, and they said that you know once the uh, French fries get cooked for for two hundred degrees for ten minutes ish, they have a certain level of uh, uh, acrylamide. All right, now acrylamide is a known carcinogen, and it's recognized by the World Health Organization as a carcinogen, and they say that you can have so much of that and you can be okay. Um, if you cook French fries for 10 minutes in one of these air fryers, it will produce 1.7 the amount. This is what's fucked up. In Korea, they registered 1.7 times the amount of, uh, of allowed acrylamide in your diet. In, in uh, the Europe, they registered 3.4. <clears throat> That's twice. Yeah. So mind you, yeah. mind you that is it a that is only versus Korean. It no, be. it's not that at all. It's it's not that. It, it they, was, this the, was the same article. But what I'm, what I'm getting at is that that was only ten minutes. So oh, ten minutes is they they were saying is just the the browning of fries. Some people like there's a little bit crispy, so you leave it in there a little bit longer. And they say when you when you uh, the the amount of uh, acrylamide. I, I don't know what acrylamide is. See if you can look that up. Well, I I look at it this way. However you cook your food, something leaches into it. Even if you just grill it and you char it, it's bad for you. If you use nonstick pans, that's yep. bad for you. Bad for you. Everything's right? bad for you. So those new pans you just bought are bad for you. Are they? Yes. Yeah. That material they line it with. Is bad for you. So everything we have is just fucking bad. For yes, you. correct. It's just, yes. And I Set air fry design. my French fries for forty eight hours. Yeah, so you're like eighteen point so, yeah. six. So I'm getting yeah, I'm getting I think two thousand percent of the acrylamide wow. that I should so be getting. The, I guess what I'm ultimately getting at, and I th- I kind of hit this note on so how are you supposed to other cook podcast. food? That that's my point. Yeah, is that every single thing? It's just like they, they throw you curveballs all the time. They're going, "Oh, this is let, bad yeah, for you. Not this eat. is bad for you. This is bad for you." Well, fuck it, man. Why don't you stop producing shit that's bad for you? All right, bitches. No, you know? what it is is everything is bad for you. Yeah, to a degree, it is. Yeah. Now, if you ate air fried French fries four times a day for the rest of your life, it's going to cause a problem. If you have it once a month or a couple of times, you're going to be fine. Yeah. Well, I right? can see that. Anything in moderation. Just like uh, drinking, right? You know, we don't drink a lot. Whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. Well, okay, you guys do. We, we don't? Yeah, we do. Anything in moderation, right? Just, it's it's when you, when you just overdo it, it's when it's a problem. Yeah. This causes cancer. Well, yeah, but you got to drink three gallons of it a day. Yeah, when for they ten say, years. when they say it causes cancer true, in mice or rats, they are like and only in California. They're like saturating the rat. Yes. In diet nah, coke. I don't I don't I don't think that's true. I think that is true. I think they can um, so Mr. Producer pulled up acrylamide is a chemical that can be created by cooking processes including baking, air frying and toasting. Acrylamide is considered a probable human carcinogen based on the results of studies in laboratory animals. However, there is no conclusive evidence linking dietary acrylamide consumption. So your toaster foods. is bad for you too. Well, it's the uh, yes. Think about how stupid that is. A toaster it has a heating element close to the to the bread surface it, it's, that makes it it's brown. It's because of the plastics Correct. that are in there. <sighs> Spare me. Well, I, you know what, man? I'm look, not worried about it. it does, and it, then you uh, have these guys that live to like 105, and they're like, what's your secret? And they're like, I eat bacon and I uh, drink Dr. Pepper every day of my life. <laughs> smoke six cigars. Yeah, exactly. I smoke my pipe. Fuck you. And eat plastic. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> it's so dumb. Yeah, it's all genetics, man. I'm going to. Most of it. I'm going to go. I'm going to enjoy my food. I'm not going to overkill anything. Yeah. Right. Speaking of overkilling, um, did you guys 
get a whiff of the Your anti-Semitic ass? Uh, issues that the uh, the colleges, Penn oh. State, or, and well, it Harvard. It depends what context and, you're going to ask this question. Pardon? Depends what context you're going to ask this question. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> you know, it, it, I've heard so many. First of all, those dudes I guys out there listening, there. This is when they were into the court in Congress. You had a. Uh, a, a, a New York representative Stefanik. She was uh, questioning Elisa them. Elisa Stefanik, yes. And she was, uh, she was like, hey, just like, hey, man, is this is this part of the rules? Are yes they or not no. supposed to do that? Yes or no? I mean, it was so, and they, they kept sidestepping it so much. It was just. Okay, hold on. This is the Harvard or Penn State president? And MIT. Harvard, uh, MIT. MIT. It was, it was, it's Clotting Gay. Okay, so Harvard. they called from Harvard. It was okay, Liz so McGill. Congress who got called, canned. <clears throat> she got killed, canned. And then Sally Cornbluff. Okay, so Corn Pop so, from so MIT. Congress called the presidents of these colleges or universities to a, a hearing because there was all this press about their student body having all these uh, anti Semitic okay. riots. Yeah, and, from yeah. the Pro river Hamas, to the sea. Pro Hamas Correct. protests. And why right, weren't so they, they called them? So they called them to a congressional hearing. Correct. Okay, why? Why, why they are say? they? Why are they still students? Why weren't they punished? Of why, some, weren't, some why weren't they booted? Okay. Right. And what did they say? And they asked, "Is it against your uh, pol- or something like that?" I don't know how she phrased the question. Context, uh, context dependent decision. Uh, no, context the, the question that dec- Elise Stefanik asked them: Does it go against Harvard's code of conduct for bullying or harassment or something like that? To to uh, yell for the genocide of the Jewish people, something to that effect. Okay. Yeah. And, and they heat and hot around it. All of them had yeah. a canned answer because oh, yeah. all it, of that them, was it. It was the context all, dependent decision. All of them were coached by the same law firm. Two of the three. Yeah. Three of them were. All three were. All but, oh, three. Not the same law firm. Though. They the, all three of them were coached by. They spent millions of dollars and were coached by the same law you firm. Know, what, the part that kind of like sickens me is the the shitty grin on their face. They knew they were avoiding the question, and it and look, they were like kind of being smirky about it. Oh, yeah, snarky is the, like, the best word. Look, oh, my my people are going to love me for this. Yes, I mean it's just like they had the little smile on their face. They could they, they weren't taking it seriously. It's like, look, man, if you were to replace the word, and they had some sort of AI representation on the. The internet, where they were to say uh, that about black people, uh, brown and black, I think that was what the AI said. Uh, you know, it, it, they shit get would be. Oh, it'd be, it'd yeah, be I, crazy. I, I really, I don't understand. Or the gay anti- people, anti-Semitism. Yeah, yeah or gay. I you don't, know what? Who I don't came get to it. the? Uh, who I came don't to the understand. Rescue? I don't Al, understand it either. Al Sharpton was because you know that girl. Uh, first of all, the the uh, the Harvard president. Gail, gay. What is her name? Uh, Claudine Gay. Claudine Gay. So, I mean, first of all, she had, they dug up some sort of thing about her where she plagiarized her uh, her uh, paper. To, Dissertation. Yeah. Her thesis. Yes. And, Dissertation uh, or whatever. She had a few things that she plagiarized on there. And they kind of threw that under the table. And frankly, I don't care. What, what's in the past is in the past, whatever. Just That doesn't matter, and I don't give a fuck. What, what matters is now. And Al Sharpton says, well, the, oh, the richest men in the world uh, in America are attacking a black woman whose academic credentials are impeccable. You know, it's like, no, man. They're attacking some stupid bitch that thinks it's okay to, to, to call out Jews. Right. And say well, there, there, there's a sort of theory, it may have been on the five, but there's – there's a the reason why they they can't condone it is there is there's a hierarchy of wokeness because the oh they control everything because right the now. Jewish Especially people the, the Jewish people are perceived higher than the Palestinian Hamas people therefore it's okay to do that because there's a hierarchy that says well these people who are saying it are more oppressed than the people they're saying it against right. So it's well, it's all comes so you're down allowed to, to insult them, correct? Because they like, like are the white, o- like the white they men are oppressors, perceived more oppressed than the ones that you're saying it about. Okay, whatever. It's just like they say white people can't be racist. Uh, you know, well, you know. What, I'm sorry, they, black people can't be racist because the, the cool yeah. thing to, I like about people. this is, Mr. Anybody Producer, can be racist. I uh, I sent you a link earlier. Did you get that link? Is that the video? Yeah. So basically, there's there's a there's a Oprah Winfrey interview that she did with uh, with Raven, Raven Simone. Simone. You know, and 
this this interview uh i don't even know what happened uh but it was like nine years ago it, it's 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 crazy and it, it it really hit me uh and i don't even know how it popped up on the radar but basically a raven was was saying that she wanted to not be labeled first of all she she grew up gay uh she said she recognized that she was gay at 12 years old she said she didn't really know what it was, and but she just recognized it. And she was just like, you know, I don't want to be labeled. Because Oprah was trying to shove down her throat. Go ahead and hit play on that, Mr. Producer. See if we can't get something. It's the a little bit long, was, so we have to cut I can finally get married. Yay, government. So proud of you. Wow. That was August 2nd, 2013. So was that your way of coming out, Was uh, of saying you were gay? That was my way of saying I'm proud of the country. But... Yeah. I will say that um, I'm in, I mean, an amazing, happy relationship with my partner, a woman. Mm -hmm. And on the other side, my mother and people in my family, they've taught me to keep my personal life to myself as much as possible. Mm -hmm. I so that's smart. Um, I try my best to, you know, hold the fence where I can, but I am proud to be who I am mm -hmm. and what I am. So when did you know who you were and what you were? In that topic of dating and in love, I knew when I was like 12, I was looking at everything. <laughs> Were you I looking just, at boys and girls? Yes, ma'am. Did you have a word for it? Because I think when you're younger, you don't even have language for what it is. All right, you can, I, don't, I don't, I don't, don't need language. Let's, I don't hold, need a categorizing statement for it. I think that's one thing that kind of- So you of, don't want to be labeled gay? I here. don't want to be labeled gay. I want to be labeled a human who loves humans. I'm tired of being labeled. I'm an American. I'm not an African American. I'm an American. Oh. No, no. Hit play. Oh, oh yeah. Girl. That's the part we so want to hear. Twitter. 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 I'm sorry. I mean, what? I'm oh, sorry. My Lord. What did you just say? Stop. Stop. Stop the tape right now. All right. Hit pause okay, for a second. All right, so here, here, I'll tell you right now, uh, this is problematic for me because it, it wasn't so, it, it is exactly what, Oprah Winfrey is doing. She's trying to control the narrative and, and divide. It, it, it's it's about dividing. Hit hit play again. We'll say this. What? I mean, I don't know where my roots go to. Mm -hmm. I don't know how far back they go. I can't go on. You know, I don't know how far back, and I don't know what country in Africa I'm from. But I do know that my roots are in Louisiana. Mm -hmm. I'm an American, and that's a colorless person. Because we are all people. I have lots of things running through my veins. I mean, you're going to get a lot of flack for saying you're not African-American. You know that, right? All right. You can cut it here. but I don't label you know, myself. Okay. I, I think Good for that her for is, standing up to oh, that. I, I, that is such a beautiful response. We should all be that way. A beautiful, beautiful response. We should response. be a colorblind society. It doesn't matter where you're from. We are all Americans. We are united in that way. I give her credit here, but she is a nut job. She was on The View for a while. Oh, Never mind. That's and okay. She no. said some really idiotic, fucking stupid things. Really? Well, you just yes. squashed the fuck out of that. But, <laughs> <laughs> yes. but you know what? I but this, here, this, this little slice uh, of history right here, the fact that she says that, because that's sincerely how she really feels. And you know what? The fact that she says, yes, ma'am. I mean, how cordial is, is that? That you just simply don't see that uh that response to from uh, that generation yeah, that's, anymore that's it's a, it's that's gone a lost, uh, and, a and, lost and it's respect. it's unfortunate about what the, the her on the view I, I don't even know who the fuck she was until today yeah she, she was, was on, on the, the cosby view. show yeah, she was on the view for a while and she was ridiculously liberal and uh i i i not, maybe not, she's learned since then well well, well that I, was nine I, years I, don't, ago. I don't know if this was before or after the view um, it had to have been after because th that was nine years ago when she did that interview with Oprah. But either that or they just tell the producers of that show. Um, Be controversial. Yeah, just say the stupidest things. I, I kind of think that's ratings. what it is. Yeah, by the way, we're going to pay you uh, an extra $25,000. And here's the, here's the narrative we want you to pull. Yeah, maybe. Maybe. I mean, you know. I mean, the reality is, uh, I mean, that's what we're doing, right? I don't believe anything of that I've said. Uh, yeah, I, do, I actually, I don't know anything about this Raven Simone. I don't watch The View. I, you know, I, I see plenty of headlines of controversial things they say, uh, which you well, typically she, piss me off. Yeah, well, she was right up there with them there. Whenever she was on, I don't know how long she was on or exactly when. It was in the, uh, I think it was after this. Yeah. So it makes me think that the the producers and the directors just say, okay, you need to go 
wheels off and say the stupidest fucking things. You think so? Yeah. Or or, or do I, they have the freedom to just kind of well, say Comparing what they're I see here, thinking? how she's acting here, compared to what she did on The View. A, to- a totally different person. Yes, completely. Well, she looks more mature. Like the comment she's making in that second interview was definitely more mature. Yeah, money talks, and she was brainwashed pretty much. From yeah. The view. So All right. we'll have to we'll have to find some footage of the view and Raven Simone. Uh, but but in a look, little bit. the the point by bringing that whole thing up is that it was so f- refreshing to hear that perspective come from a black uh, woman, and the fact that she doesn't want to be labeled. You never heard her once say anything about her being gay. You never once heard her say what color she was. She was like, I want to color. I want to be colorless. Why I'm American. She's kind of flying against what she <laughs> went across well, when she yeah. was on the View, though. That's 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 the only thing. She 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 went wheels off when she was on the View. So in other words, you've seen enough. They're of all her wheels to not off on the View. Correct. Well, we'll see. That fat bitch, fucking uh, oh. what's her name? She has Karen. her issues. She was good in Ghost. Oh wow, look at that. That's impressive. Was there what's uh, the fat bitch's name? Oh, not uh, uh, Whoopi Goldberg. Oh, Whoopi. Oh, Karen. All right, uh, you know what? Whatever, is, whatever, whatever, sure. whatever. But I thought it was actually it was it was it was refreshing. I was happy to hear that, and I and I think that uh, we need to repl- play that over and over. That should be something that the whole everyone should embrace because it's it's absolutely true. Don't label people. You know, we're all Americans. We're all humans. We're all in the same country of the United States, and we all have a a function. And the function isn't to is it to provide support for the whole fucking world it's to provide support for ourselves and to give it to ourselves it's just a shame yeah we're in a mess right now and, and dudes like us out there should be extremely frustrated and and they they need to do something about it they need to get up and they need to vote they need to get up and they need to be heard they need to get up and stand up for what's right and these 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 george soros activists that just come out of the woodwork they need to be squashed yeah, I mean, I, I think most people, uh, their their involvement in that arena starts and ends with voting. And there's nothing wrong with that. And vote for uh, term limits. Well, that would solve a bunch. That would solve almost everything. Well, we can't really vote for that. But She was uh, she was on The View 2012 to 2016. So right. Four years. Right right after four that. years. It's yeah. a whole generation. Yeah. Yep. Congressional term limits. All right, so... Um, I wanted to get that out, and I thought it was kind of cool. But I agree, I agree with her, you know. To her to her point, like Oprah, does she know that her heritage goes to Africa, not like Jamaica or Europe? Right. You know, it's amazing when you have some of these uh, these uh, DNA tests, these 23andMe, and you've got these women and men uh, that take the test, and they're like, oh, I want to find out. He had this one woman for specifically, and she was all dressed in this African mm-hmm. get-up. And, you know, I don't want to say get-up and, and, and be disrespectful. That's not what I meant. But what I'm just saying, she was in, like, some sort of official attire. Correct. And uh, they were like, yeah, you're not even from Africa. You're from Europe. Yes, you have no <laughs> African blood and, in and you. And they, they, she found out, like, in the moment on the stage. Correct. Yeah. In the interview. Yeah. And she was like, are you serious? Yeah. 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 So take all that shit off and. That's not. <laughs> I mean, well, it's it, just like when that one naked. that one race baiter <laughs> uh, found out that her heritage was from uh, the pilgrims, from the actual people who came over on the Mayflower. Yeah. Oh, that, oh that's yeah. That's true, too. Yeah. That's exactly what we're talking about. Yeah. That she it was, was same related one. to somebody who was on the Mayflower. And she was a huge liberal talking about colonization and all that shit. I was like, well, you come from those people. Yeah, that's full circle shit right there. That's kind of yeah. like bitch, it please. It totally is. And she was taken aback. She wasn't like, she didn't get like immediately defensive and be like, oh, bullshit. She was kind of like, what? Right? Does she start to rethink? Uh, no. You know what I rethink? This then, bourbon. Then she basically. I rethink this. Go ahead. I'm sorry. She probably was hating on her ancestors now. Correct. Anyway, but go ahead. No, I, I was going to dive into the bourbon. I don't even know what the bourbon It's called Broker? Breaker. 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 All right, so Breaker Bourbon. So, look. We, we went back to the well. It should be called Water. So, uh, Paul, walk us, walk our dudes like us listeners out there what the well is. So, so okay. So, we buy new ones, and then we have a 
a quite a large inventory of older bourbons that we've been collecting over the years. And I've been advocating that we do a new one and an old one. So when I say go back to the well, let's pull off one of the older ones off the shelf and uh, and see and see if they're, you know, see how tasty they are. But here's part of the challenge. When we started out buying our bourbons, testing and trying our bourbons, they're all 80, 90 proof. Correct. Because we started, that. that's what we started out doing. Correct. And, yeah, well, frankly, we didn't know any better either. Well, I mean, there's nothing wrong with 80 and 90 proof bourbons. Well, we weren't ready for 110, well, 120 we, proof. We, we weren't we ready then. Yes. We, and not. it wasn't really a ready thing. So let's let's back up. Let's pit pause. Yeah. What we were doing is we were purchasing bourbons within our budget. That, and it that too. just so happened that they were this. Because I guarantee it, if, the, if we were in the budget and it was 110 proof, we would have got it. Right. I mean, so we realized later that when we started high, having the higher proof bourbons that they were richer, they were tastier, they, you know, we, the, we re- it resonated with us. Right. right. So now the challenge is we want to go back to the well and try some of these older bourbons. And, uh, and they're, I don't want to say they're like water, but they're... This one is like water. They're definitely, they're definitely um, mild. I so, literally... Sean said, take a pool off of this. We're out in the green room. I, I drank it. I tasted nothing. I know. I, nothing. I, I had literally no it's finish basic, at all. A, it's basically an MGP uh, in, in a random barrel, and that's it. And they bottled it. So, I taste zero flavor. So I pick up says, a little bit yeah, now. I, okay, Aged of a minimum I, I of five up, years. I picked up more. I picked up more as we were drinking throughout the night here with this. Um, but there's no question it, it it's just not as rich. So no. this is this is Breaker. It's a it's a weeded bourbon, and by all means, we're not slamming this. All right, no. And for all, all the 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 tasters out there, the people are like, oh, we want this is the perfect one for you. If you're just starting off, hey man, get this one because you know what? It's probably in your budget. It's a weeded bourbon. It falls in the criteria it's of very something smooth. of a. Of a it's, it's very it's smooth. I very mean, smooth. It doesn't have a whole lot of flavor. That's correct. really the bottom line. You know what right. I would equate it to. It's almost like when you are, have always been a heavy beer drinker, like full body beer. And you go back to a light beer. And you drink a light beer. How how often do they say, oh my God, this is a beer flavored water? Correct. They always say that, right? That's kind of, this. Uh, it's a, an extreme analogy, but that's kind of what we're saying. So this is interesting on the backside. It says, Breaker Weeded Bourbon Whiskey is meant... Uh, to to serve as a counterpart to our beautifully bold breaker bourbon whiskey, by replacing the rye in our mash bill, uh, which with wheat, and we have created a bourbon that is slightly softer on the palate, remaining yes. true. That that's absolutely true. True. So that's a, a minimum of five years in the bottle. So basically, I, I taste tea notes, but it's good, like sweet tea. Yes, kind it, of a thing. But it I is, agree. It, it there's nothing wrong with it. It's good. It is good. But we are expecting rich overtones, right? Yeah. We're expecting. This does not have that. The finish is like immediately gone. So here's true. here's the reason why is. Uh, because it it's the it's, proof. It's been watered down. It's it's the proof because it's been watered down, and when it, I'm sure when it comes out of the barrel, it's got a lot of uh, openness. But, We've had know. some other ninety proofs that have more flavor than that, though. That's, That's true. true. That, yep. yep, so. yep, yep All right, so I think it's time to rate it. All right, I give it a nine point eight. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. It's hard for me because, like I said, I almost taste nothing. I have a little sweet tea flavor to it. Look, I'm, I'm going to call it a five, just simply because. I, it's, I, I don't want to be negative about it, but I can't be no. positive about it, so I'm going to give it a 5. No, I, I'm 4 in it. I was going to give a 5.3 is what I was going to yep. give it. I'm going 4. Yep. 4. Wow. Yep. Throw out the four. high, throw out the low. I'm I, four. I hate to see what a 3.5 is. Well, we got a bunch it's out it's there. We'll probably it's find apparently. out. <laughs> yeah, we, got a, we got a special category under poll. Pool. <laughs> really? All right, for yes. people that don't know, Paul had a – one, maybe one or two purchases. No. No. It was like one or okay, two. First off, one we or were, two years right. of purchases. What the hell? <laughs> we were getting 30 and $40 bottles of bourbon. <laughs> Here comes the rationalization. All right. Go on. You old old granddad, 114 and, 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 is 24 okay, bucks. Jeff and I did our research. And you guys were like, oh, my God. Uh, every bottle I bought was amazing. Yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> well, as we're finding out, no, it's not. <laughs> Four point seven six six six. Repeating, of course. Repeating, repeating. of course. <laughs> 
Yeah, yeah Paul, that's Paul, about right. That's Paul, about had, right. Paul had a stretch of, of bad wins, but I have no that idea. That is kind of funny, actually. We enjoyed it. it was, the banter was kind of cool. But this one uh, specifically, yeah, you, you said you said four. Jeff said, said four. four. Uh, Paul said. Would you mix that with a Coke? This is a mixer. I don't uh, know what it would do I, to the Coke. I, I actually wouldn't even mix it. I think Kentucky Gentleman has more flavor than that. Yes, I would agree with that. Maybe it's the weeded part. It's kind of like an Oregon Spirits kind I of I don't know. But the, it, it, I, you're you're crinkling up your nose and making your. If I'm if I'm sitting on a patio out in the country at my dear lease and somebody hands me this and I oh I'm, sure I'm, I'm, I'm it. sipping that on a, on a, in in a glass stop 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 I'm right gonna you're enjoy not sipping it. you're not sipping I'm gonna enjoy it you're not sipping you're gonna chug it you're, it's a big gulp okay I'm gulping there you go on a patio now I'm, maybe I'm gonna enjoy the hell out of that. now maybe if we had that first tonight. It would have been a different story, and then jumped into the uh, the a higher as well. proof. Harvest. Maybe we need to pay attention to that and go. Okay, Harvest if we're going to have a lower proof, we need to start with that. Okay, I'm good with that. And then work our way up to the higher proof instead of starting with the the robust one yeah. and stepping down to that. Uh, you know I, I, what? I get it. All in all, you know what? Uh, I'm glad we got the bottle. Uh, Breaker weeded bourbon. Um, you know, it's dude's like it's approved. I mean, it, look, it's not on the shit list. It's right? not. It, it's not. It really is not. It, we're it's just replace a, it? You know, no, we're not. In fact, right. we're going to leave it alone. We're never going to touch this bottle again. It's going <laughs> to sit up there. It, look, because look, it's almost gone. So if we were doing another round, it'd be in the infinity bottle. And frankly, I don't want to do that because I'd like to have it. <laughs> I'd like for us to have it because the whole thing about being after the podcast with bourbon is that we have a, an inventory of bourbon. Yep. That just sits there forever. It will eventually get drunk. Yeah, it won't. Yes, it will, because Chuck is going to come over and drink it. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, boy. Hey, Chuck, how you doing, buddy? Yeah. Love you. Wow. <laughs> fact, oh, cool. In fact, we need to label it. We need to put this on the... We, we need to put Chuckster on here. Chuckster. No. <laughs> uh, we can finish it. I don't give a fuck. I'm just thinking timestamp is how she said. <laughs> no, Chuck knows. Um... But I, I think uh, if we do it this next week, I think we start with the lower proof and, and work our way yep. up. Yeah, agreed. I don't disagree. And, and by the way, Chuck wants to be on the podcast again. Um, before, of course. Uh, well, I don't know if we're going to be able to do it before the if, yeah. he, if we're well. Are we going to do it? Now? Well, well, we'll talk about it offline. Yeah, we'll figure it out. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. But, yeah, he's. Uh, I mean, I, there, there's uh, we have a lot of uh, people that are man. I'm really enjoying some of our guests. You know, Chuck is one of them. He's a star. Uh, Larry oh, yeah. was a star. <laughs> uh, Larry was a star up here. Um, you know, there's uh, we, we, we have Kevin last week. God bless. Kevin right. was fantastic. We enjoyed the shit out of him. Yeah. I was not expecting what I expected from Kevin. Well, they're completely different uh, podcasts. Like yes. when we have Randy on, it's a completely different kind of podcast than uh, when it's just the three of us or, or with another guest or when Rob is on, right? It's different. Yeah. It is, and, 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 and I don't think we've ever had anybody not enjoy it. Right, I think everyone's had fun. Right, yeah. and it's fun. I mean, uh, uh, Kevin was looking at his environment. Uh, the podcast room is it, it, it's, it's intriguing, cool. man. It's, it's got cool. a lot of weird, eclectic shit going on in here. There's right. some very weird stuff. It, it's, it's, it's real. Like when people think about a podcast and they think of, they look at the three of us doofuses, you know, we do a podcast <laughs> and then they walk into this room. They're like, oh. fuck, this is real. Right. It is a real room. It's a real podcast room. It's badass. Yeah. It and really we've got is. a lot of cool stuff. We've got Nazi helmets. Well, we've got Star Wars helmets, memorabilia. <laughs> we've got I'm talking about the flies. microphones and the yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, the microphones and the, oh the lava God. lamp and. Anyway, it is a lot of fun. I, and I hope we make a difference to the people that listen because uh, we enjoy doing it. And uh, I know we were all over the place because we're and The second half went back pretty, pretty quick, man. Yeah. Yeah. So, anyway, Christmas <sighs> is next week. Wow. No. Well, well, hold on. It's, well, it's, I mean, it's two it's, weeks. It's... We have one so more you're, you're not going to be here for next week. Christmas. Yeah, I, I'll be here Wednesday. Yeah, Wednesday. So we're going to do podcast Wednesday of this coming week. Yeah. And then uh, you're going to be out of town. Uh, the then we'll week. probably, then it is Christmas then the following Christmas. week. So we'll probably. You know what, maybe Jeff and Al will do a little. No, nah, we'll wait. We'll wait. <laughs> really? <laughs> well, cool. Wink, wink. All right. Don't well, look at me. Here we are. 
All right, well, excuse me. It is uh, it's the December twelfth. It's dudes like us. We have Mr. Producer back there. Thank you for the uh, work and the extra work. Doing. All right, I burped. I'm sorry. I'm trying to like <laughs> take a big old swig of this. Uh, burp. I don't have I'll EQ it so it sounds just rice and crisp. Oh, crispy. Nice and, and moist. Oh. I'm Paul. Hold on, hold on. And I'm Jeff. What do we have coming up? <laughs> Are there Christmas parties? No Christmas. I don't parties. have any. Do we have any Christmas parties? I don't have parties? any office here anymore. Dude's like us. I'm Sean. I'm Paul. I'm Joe. 